fix it, All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Synthetic Oil Protection. We're just getting ready to start here. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Got the little icon below. And today we're working on a Hyundai. And this is a uh, 2013 Accent. We're doing the transmission fluid. And a lot of people ask, you know, aren't Hyundais just a throwaway lighter? And uh, it's not true at all. They're not quite as good as a Honda. However, if you take care of them and you put the good synthetics in them, they last much longer. So today we're putting in our fuel efficient ATF and this is uh, good for double the severe service drain interval of almost any manufacturer. Mercedes, Hyundai, Audi, Mitsubishi, uh, you name it, all these high-end cars, you can double the severe service interval and it gets you much better gas mileage, better shifting, and most importantly, it protects your car. Let's kick it off. Just getting ready to kick this whole party off, uh, but first, wanted to quick run over some tools with you. We got the car up on a jack. We have a jack stand for safety. Always be sure to uh, do this on a flat uh, ground. It's stable, no gravel, nothing like that. Always have someone around just in case if something happens and be sure to use uh, safety protection, eye protection, and everything else. So we're gonna start out, this is our 3 8 inch drive. We're gonna need this long extension to take off the cap to fill it. So you always wanna be able to take your cap off first, and I'll show you that in a second. The next thing is our long funnel with a hose. This goes down into the transmission. We got our drain pan, and then this is the bolt that takes off, uh, I mean the, the socket, that takes off the bolt in the transmission. And it's a 5 16 and that's the size of the drain bolt for the transmission. And it should be taking about three to four quarts. We're gonna measure it when it goes into the pan, so let's kick it off. All right, so this is where the 3 8 inch drive goes, right here. Show you right there. You can see it. it, just basically slips right in. It doesn't click or anything. And just be very delicate with it. It comes off real easy. And uh, then you have to go in and reach in and grab it. So you just pull it straight out, and it's this little teeny black plastic cap. And that's the fill for the transmission. There's no dipstick. All right. Got our clean drain pan so we can examine all the metallic uh, after we drain it to see what it looks like. And then we got our breaker bar. This makes it real easy to break that bolt loose. Let's do it. Here we go. All right, here's the bolt. And all we do is just break it loose. That's it, it's broke. Now all we do is drain it by hand. It's gonna come out real quick because we took out our plastic cap up top. So it should flow out like a waterfall. Here we go. A one, a two, and a three. And there it is. Just let her drain down. All right. So a quick update, we're at 105,000 miles on the Hyundai, and this is the metallic that's on the magnet. So you see all this fuzzy stuff, and what that is, is basically, it's metallic, and I'll show you what it looks like. So it's all sticking to the magnet, and what happens is, is it breaks off, and it circulates, and the more this metallic circulates through your transmission, it actually wears out the clutch material and uh, breaks down the oil faster. And also it can become acidic as uh, the clutch material circulates. So you wanna get that out of there. This should be changed at about 50,000 miles or sooner. And uh, so this is what it looks like and it's on the verge of turning. So once the transmission fluid has a chemical change and it becomes brown, Basically within a few thousand miles you can wreck your transmission. So we got to it before so we're good Yay. All right, it's still draining down now What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drop it completely level so all the fluid can come out Take out our jack stand and we Just drop it down All 
right. Let's give it a couple minutes. I jacked it up now on the right side and uh, the drain hole on the transmission is on the far, far left. So by jacking it up over here, we're getting even more fluid out. We're gonna go ahead and uh, cork her up, put the bolt back on, fill it up. We're gonna go drive it. After we drive it about five miles, we're actually gonna drain it again. And uh, basically the first time we're gonna get half the fluid out, mix it, and then we're gonna put in another half. So we're gonna be getting about 75% of all the fluid out. We're gonna go ahead and fill up these uh, quarts. Should be about three to four quarts. And we're gonna measure what came out. And then we're gonna put that much back in. And uh, that's pretty much all you do. Actually, you can actually put maybe another 0.2 quart more in because this uh, fluid actually breaks down and burns off. So there is a little bit of fluid loss, but it's very small. It could be 0.1 to 0.2 quart. So we're gonna do it now. So here's the four, and then we got the, uh, the point one. All right, so now it's time to feel her up. Nice. And the other nice thing about it is uh, you have this cover so you can keep it clean for storage. And then you have a little valve here that you can open and close too, which is nice. So we come on in, you can take a look. And now we just pour it in. Just double check. You're in, we're in, here we go. Pour a little bit, always double check you're going in, make sure you're not leaking. All right, inside where you fill it, there's actually a black a uh, piece of plastic similar to the size of this and it almost fits that perfectly it's that tight and when you actually put that all the way in it actually seals it off and it can't breathe to allow the fluid to go down and it'll actually overflow so you have to stick it in only about halfway in and make sure you have it at an angle so it'll actually uh, let air down in so just go very slow when you pour it in we're gonna put our fill plug back in. We just got done filling it up and we lost about 0.2 quart of spillover. Basically what happened was when you put this in, it's such a small little hole because that's what it threads into. Basically, if it seals off the tip when it goes in, it won't allow air to pass by. So you have to stick the tip in about a third of the way and pour it very slow so air can pass by. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cork her up, go drive her, and we'll be back to do the double flush. All right, we're doing our second drain here. We just got done driving about five miles. Everything runs great, the coolant's good. We're just gonna double check our level once it cools down, but uh, everything's good to go. Just drain it down, let's do it. All right, All right we're gonna go ahead and drain her for the second time. Let's see how much better it looks. Should look a lot better. Count of three, one, two, and three. Looks a lot, a little more red. And now, this is our last time. We're gonna fill her up. Okay, we're gonna torque her up. This is a big bolt, it's got a crush washer. I would only torque it to about 30, 40 pound feet of torque. You don't need to go real hard on it, all right? it we're just time to put in our liquid gold we're doing four quarts going in and if this stuff's good for jet turbines that are worth a million bucks it's good for your transmission let's do it here we go now remember go real slow because it can uh, overflow a little bit break clean all the spilled fluid She's at, it overflowed a little bit, so we're just gonna hit that. Hit that, get all that junk out. And now, we're gonna hit our uh, engine degreaser. We're gonna quick just pepper this thing, clean her all up.
Done spraying her down. Now we're gonna wipe her up and then we're gonna do our final touch. All right, we're all wrapped up. We got done doing our motor oil. We got done doing our transmission fluid, a double flush, and we got done doing our radiator coolant. And the last thing to do is to AMS oil it. Put on our badge O honor. We optimize with a little bit of American ingenuity. All right, we will see you guys back next time. If you guys love this stuff, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and we will see you guys back on the next episode. Thanks. Really appreciate you guys. Oh, and don't forget, protection, protection, protection. If you have a fleet or a commercial account, we can uh, do a fifth of the oil changes on your equipment and uh, save the environment. All right, we'll see you guys.